So you want some huge legs? Yeah, me too. You came to the wrong right place. Let's get the basics out of the way. The leg's main muscles are the quads, the hamstrings, the calves and the glutes. Let's start with the quads, for no particular reason. The quads are a four-headed muscle whose main function is knee extension. So we are gonna start with some squats. There are many squat variations, so choose your character. The main choices are gonna be the back, front and hack squats. With the right execution, you may also consider the leg press. You can build great quads with any of these, as long as you go deep, causing the biggest amount of knee flexion under tension, which will load the quad on the stretch. But now you're tired like a dog and sweating bullets. That's because squats are hard and will cause a lot of systemic fatigue. That's where the leg extension comes in. It's a super common machine and it targets exactly the quad's function, knee extension. A good leg extension machine will let your ankle travel way behind your knee. So this is a great example of an awful one. Bonus points if you lean back when doing these since one of the heads of the quad attaches on the hip and it will be more stretched if you do so. Next, the hamstrings, whose function is the exact opposite of the quad, curling at the knee. For these, we're gonna have three main exercises. The lying and seated leg curls and the stiff leg deadlift. Both the seated and lying leg curls focus on knee flexion, so just pick the one you find more comfortable and that you feel the muscle more. The deadlift is a bit more interesting because the knee is actually extended throughout the whole movement. But because, uh, science, hip hinging while keeping your knee straight will also hit your hamstrings in a different way. Lastly, let's get to the glutes. The glute's main function is hip extension, also known as humping. If you're like me, aka a f***ing dingus, and do low bar squats, that's probably enough glute to work depending on your goals. Trust me, I would know. Otherwise, any movement that widens the angle between your thighs and your core will target them. Such as good mornings, hip thrusts, Romanian deadlifts, um, whatever the fuck this is. And yeah, that's it. Oh wait, what about the calves? Yeah, just do 5 sets of yippies, I don't know, no one has big calves, man. Now you might be wondering, Rafael, if you know all this, why are your legs so shit? Uh, 